Today in this electronic project, I'm going to build a 12 volt LED flasher circuit that's perfect for beginners. To make this project, we'll need a 12 volt relay as the core component. First, I'll apply a small amount of solder on all the pins of the relay to ensure clean and reliable connections. Next, I'll use a short piece of wire to connect one of the output pins of the relay with one of its input pins, creating a feedback loop that allows the relay to switch rapidly and make the LED flash. This connection is essential for creating the flashing effect. After that, I'll solder a 470 microfarad capacitor across the input terminals of the relay. The capacitor acts as a timing element, controlling how quickly the relay switches on and off by charging and discharging, which causes the flashing effect in the connected LED. I will solder the positive terminal wire of the 12 volt battery to the middle pin of the relay. This ensures a reliable connection for the positive side of the power supply directly into the relay's control circuit. Then I will solder the positive wire of a 12 volt LED to the output of the relay and the negative wire to the pin of the relay where we have soldered the negative pin of the capacitor. This step ensures the LED will flash as the relay operates, creating the intended effect. And at last, I will solder the negative terminal wire of the 12 volt battery to the pin of the relay, where I have soldered the negative pin of the capacitor. This completes the power loop, ensuring the negative side of the power supply is securely connected to the circuit. Now it's time to test our 12 volt LED flasher circuit. I'll connect the circuit to a 12 volt battery. As soon as I complete the connection, the relay will begin to click and the LED connected to the output will start blinking on and off. This simple project is a fantastic way to understand how relays and capacitors work together to create a flasher circuit. You can use this for various applications like bike indicators, decorative lights, or just as a fun DIY project. Make sure to double check all your connections and ensure the capacitor is correctly polarized to avoid damage. 